Kurt Aglumuzlahidin Reis was a privateer and admiral of the Ottoman Empire, as well as the Sanjak Bay of Rhodes. He played an important role in the Ottoman conquest of Egypt and Rhodes during which he commanded the Ottoman naval forces. He also helped establish the Ottoman Indian Ocean Fleet based in Suez, which was later commanded by his son, Kurtaglu Hizir Reis. Kurtaglu was known as Kurtagoli in Europe, particularly in Italy, France and Spain. He is also alternatively referred to as Kadagoli, Kadalai, Gadalai, Kurtogali, Kurdogli, Kurdogali, Kurdoglau, Kartuli, Kartuli and Orthogit in several European resources. Kurtaglu Muslahidin race was the father of Kurtaglu Hizir race the admiral-in-chief of the Ottoman Indian Ocean Fleet who commanded the Ottoman naval expedition to Sumatra in Indonesia in order to protect it from Portuguese aggression. The Ottoman fleet arrived to the ACEH province in 1569, whose ruler, Sultan al Aden, had earlier declared allegiance to the Ottoman Empire in 1565. This event marked the easternmost Ottoman territorial expansion. ACEH effectively remained as an Ottoman protectorate until the late 18th century, and an ally of the Ottoman Empire until 1904, when it largely went under Dutch control. Background The name Kurtaglu means son of Kurt in Turkish, a family name which Muslahidin inherited from his father, Kurt Bey, a Turkish seaman from Anatolia who went to northwestern Africa for privateering together with the other Ottoman corsairs of that period such as the Barbarossa brothers. Aruj and Hey Redden Barbarossa. Hey Redden Barbarossa became a close friend of Kurtaglu Muslahidin, who named his son after him. Aruj, Hey Redden Barbarossa, Kamal Race, Piri Race, and Kurtaglu Muslahidin Race operated together in the Mediterranean in many occasions. In 1522, Hey Redden Barbarossa sent his private fleet to assist the forces of Kurtaglu Muslahidin Race during the Ottoman conquest of Rhodes, which was the base of the Knights of St. John. Early career as a privateer. In 1508, Kurtaglu Muslahidin obtained permission from the Hafside Sultan Abu Muhammad Abdullah to use Bizita as his base for operating in the western coasts of the Mediterranean Sea. The Sultan, in return, was to receive one-fifth of his profits. Kurtaglu assembled a fleet of some 30 ships, carrying 6,000 corsairs, and in the summer of 1508 he attacked Liguria, where he landed his troops at Diano Marina and sacked the town. The following year he received an appeal from the Ottoman Sultan Bayezid II to participate in the assault against Rhodes and in February 1509 he took part in the Ottoman expedition to Rhodes against the Knights of St. John in command of 17 ships, transporting the Janissaries to the island. However, the siege did not succeed and was eventually lifted. In August 1509, near the mouth of the Tiber River in central Italy, he engaged two papal galleys under the command of Baldassara di Biasa and captured one of them. In September 1510, with a squadron of nine Fustis, he landed at the island of Andros, which was then under Venetian control, and took dozens of captives who were later ransomed. Later in September, with a squadron of six Fustis, he landed at the Genoza controlled island of Chios and forced the governor to pay 100,000 Asprey in return for the release of the island. Between 1510 and 1514, Kurtaglu operated in the Tyrrhenian Sea and the coasts of Spain, bringing the maritime traffic in the areas around Sicily, Sardinia, Calabria, and the Kingdom of Naples to a near halt. In the summer of 1514, with one galley and three Fustis, he captured a Genoza flotilla near Corsica, including its captain, Matteo Trucco. In February 1515 Kurtaglu assaulted Rhodes and in July he landed at Chios, from where he set sail to raid the coasts of Sicily. Later that year he appeared off the coasts of Luguria where he captured a Genoza galley and towed it, along with its crew, to his base in Bizita. 
Malta. In February 1516 he appeared off the island of Corfu where he received a message from the Ottoman Sultan Selim I, who was in Edirne at the moment, and invited Kurtaglu to serve in the Ottoman navy. Kurtaglu was to play a key role in the Ottoman conquest of Egypt in 1517 and Rhodes in 1522. In April 1516, with a force of 20 ships, he assaulted and sacked the coastal towns of Luguria, where he also captured a galley. In mid-April, he captured a fleet of 18 Sicilian trade ships which were heading to Genoa, and sent them to his base in Bizita. From there he went to Tuscany and blocked almost every single vessel near the port of Civitavecchia. The Papal States prepared a fleet under the command of Giovanni di Biasa and Paolo Vittori to engage him. Later in that month Curtaglu assaulted the coasts of Catalonia in Spain. In May 1516, together with Hay Redden Barbarossa and Piri Race, Curtaglu once again landed in Liguria and the Genoza allied themselves with the papal forces under the command of Federigo Fregasso, Archbishop of Salerno, in the fight against him. They were also joined by the forces under the pregent of Birdu, Bernardino Dornison and Servian, which together amounted to six galleys e three galleons. In the meantime, the combined fleet of Curtaglu, Hazir Race and Piri Race, which amounted to a total of 27 ships assaulted the port of Civitavecchia, before sailing through the channel of Piombino and landing at the islands of Giannitri and Elba, where they sieged the local fortress. In June 1516 Curtaglu landed on the coast of Apulia and took nearly 800 prisoners. From there he sailed around Calabria to the Tyrrhenian Sea, where he captured a Sicilian ship which had recently arrived from England and emptied its cargo at the port of Genoa before returning to Sicily. He then sailed back to Jabar, Admiral of the Ottoman Navy. While in Jabar, Kurtaglu received the Kapuko Basi of the Ottoman Sultan Selim I who asked him to become an admiral of the Ottoman navy and join the Ottoman expedition against the Mameluk Empire based in Egypt. Kurtaglu accepted the offer and immediately began preparations. But the Franco-Spanish attack on La Guleta and Visita in August 1516 delayed his participation. The Franco-Spanish forces were joined by the Papal fleet under the command of Federigo Fregasso, Archbishop of Salerno, which also carried a force of 1,000 soldiers. They were escorted by the force of Paolo Vittori who commanded five Papal ships. The force of Giovanni and Antonio di Biasa who commanded four papal galleys, the force of Andrea Doria who commanded eight Genoza galleys, and the combined forces of the pregent of Birdu, Bernardino Dornison and Servian, which amounted to six galleys and three galleons. The combined Spanish-French papal Genoza fleet had searched for Curtaglu in the vast area between Elba, Capria. Corsica and Sardinia before arriving at the coasts of Tunisia. From there the combined fleet set sail towards Bizita. The French and Genoza ships hid themselves behind the Isle of Galita at night before attacking the port of Bizita in the morning. Several of Curtaglu's ships which were anchored at the harbour were destroyed. But during the fighting Curtaglu managed to capture six French galleys, which he later used during the Ottoman conquest of Egypt in 1517. Curtaglu finally left Bizita and set sail to join the Ottoman fleet which headed towards Egypt. On his way he landed at Albania, where he captured a Venetian ship near the entrance of the Adriatic Sea. In September 1516 he took part in the Ottoman naval campaign against the Mamelukes in Egypt. Later in September 1516, he arrived at Shios with four galliots and eighteen fustis where he filled his ships with water and other supplies before sacking the ports of Crete which was under Venetian control. At the vicinity of Cape Malio in Rhodes he spotted two Venetian ships one of which headed towards Kithira where its crew managed to land but was forced to abandon the ship to the forces of Kurtaglu, while the other Venetian ship was captured in the sea, together with its crew and captain, Marino Fallia. 
who had 2,000 ducats of gold but was forced to pay 3,000 more for obtaining his liberty. In the meantime Kurtoglu captured two more Venetian vessels, one caravel and one galleon. He later sailed towards Frisia, Retamo and Harnia in Crete, where he captured several other ships. After leaving Crete, he assaulted four other Venetian-controlled islands in the Aegean Sea, Mykonos, Skyrus, Seraphos and Milos. From there he sailed towards Calabria with 15 ships and landed at Crotone, where he bombarded the city's fortress. He later sailed towards Apulia with two galleys, three galleots, six Fustis and four other ships, and landed at Salenta before sacking Supersano, where he also captured several prisoners but freed them in exchange of 1,200 gold ducats. From there Kurtoglu set sail towards the Adriatic Sea, where two Venetian galleys started following him from visual distance to spy on his moves. At the vicinity of Cape Santa Maria in Lefkada other corsairs joined his fleet, which reached a new total of 22 ships. Towards the end of September 1516 he sailed towards Otranto and captured a Venetian ship from Zakynthos before capturing two papal fustis. The Venetians felt intimidated of his fleet and seemed powerless to stop his actions in the Adriatic Sea. In October 1516 Kurtoglu landed at Lavinio with a force of 18 Fustis, where he hoped to capture Pope Leo X who was there at the moment for participating in a royal hunt, but the sentinels of the papacy brought the news of Kurtoglu's incursion in time and the Pope was safely rushed back to Rome. Kurtoglu, in the meantime, sacked every single settlement between Lavinio and Anzio, before returning to his ships and setting sail towards the island of Elba, which he captured and sacked. In November 1516 he landed at Sardinia before returning to Bizeta, commander of the Ottoman naval expedition to Egypt. In March 1517 Kurtoglu joined a vast Ottoman fleet heading towards Egypt with his own force of 30 ships near Bozkada and once again took part in the Ottoman campaign against the Mameluk Empire. Sultan Selim I assigned him the command of patrolling the Egyptian shores and preventing the escape of Tuman Bey, the last Mameluk Sultan who finally surrendered on April 14, 1517. Following the return of the Ottoman fleet back to Constantinople, Kurtoglu assaulted the Knights of St. John in Rhodes with an Ottoman force of 35 ships. From there he set sail towards Chios and Anatolia, where he resupplied his ships before heading towards Pianosa with 13 vessels where he encountered the fleet of Andrea Doria, which he chased until the vicinity of Cape Santi Andrea in Elba, where more Genosa ships appeared. There he assaulted the flagship of Andrea Doria with his own galley and five Fustis, while the other Ottoman ships engaged the remaining Genosa vessels. The fighting ended in a stalemate and both sides suffered hundreds of losses. Establishment of the Ottoman Egyptian Fleet and Ottoman Indian Ocean Fleet In June 1517 Kurtoglu entered the port of Alexandria with a huge Ottoman fleet of 170 ships, capturing two Genosa ships carrying 100,000 ducats worth of cargo on the way. Still in June, with several light vessels, he entered the River Nile and sailed southwards until reaching Cairo, before returning to Alexandria where he captured a ship from the Republic of Raguso. In July 1517, together with the Ottoman Sultan Selim I who appointed Kurtoglu as the commander of the Ottoman Egyptian fleet and wanted to personally tour the newest Ottoman province which also provided the title of Caliph to the Ottoman dynasty. Kurtoglu sailed down the River Nile with a force of 25 vessels, which included large ships like galleys, galleots and fustis. Kurtoglu established the Ottoman Red Sea and Indian Ocean fleet based in Suez, which was to confront the Portuguese fleet based in Goa on several occasions throughout the 16th century. In this period Kurtoglu received a daily salary of 80 aspri. Towards the end of the month he set sail with his fleet from Alexandria, which carried 500 additional janissaries, and headed to the Dardanelles, 
In October 1517 he appeared in Rhodes and in December he sacked the Venetian-controlled island of Naxos, which was the center of the Duchy of Naxos. However, the Ottoman Empire was allied with the Republic of Venice at that time, and Piri Reis sent Sir Limai's order to Kurtoglu for him to release the Venetian captives. In January 1518 Kurtoglu arrived at Constantinople, and was reassigned with the command of another large fleet. Despite the protests of the Venetian Bailo in the city, in March 1518 Kurtoglu captured a Venetian ship near Mytilene and Lesbos, and later that month once again assaulted Naxos. In October 1518 the Venetian Bailo filed another complaint to the Sublime Port, claiming that Kurtoglu captured 3,000 Venetians and transported them to Anatolian ports. In December 1518 Kurtoglu joined forces with the fleet of Piri Reis and patrolled the waters between Imros and Chios, commander of the Ottoman navy during the Siege of Rhodes. In March 1519 Kurtoglu returned to Constantinople and in September 1519 Selimai assigned him with the command of the Ottoman fleet which was being prepared to capture Rhodes, the seat of the Knights of Saint John. The conquest was eventually conducted by Selimai's son, Suleiman the Magnificent, following his father's death in 1520. In May 1521 Kurtoglu set sail from Constantinople with a large fleet of 30 galleys and 50 fustis, and headed towards Rhodes for his first attempt of conquering the island. Kurtoglu also wanted to take revenge from the Knights of Saint. John, who had killed two of his brothers and kept another one as a prisoner in the island, arriving at Cape Malio in Rhodes with his fleet, Kurtoglu landed his troops on the island and attempted to capture the Grand Master of the Knights, Philippe Villiers de Lisle Adam, who managed to escape. Kurtoglu later blocked the entrance of the Channel of Rhodes and sank several vessels at the port while capturing a Venetian ship from Crete. Realizing the impossibility of conquering the island with the number of soldiers in hand at that moment, Kurtoglu postponed the final siege to a further date, requesting further reinforcements. In the meantime, Kurtoglu joined the forces of Kara Mahmud and participated in the Ottoman naval expedition to Dobruja and the following land expedition to Wallachia. In July 1521, in early 1522 Kurtoglu returned to Rhodes and attempted to capture the ship of Philippe Villiers de Lisle Adam, Grand Master of the Knights of Saint John, while he and the Pregent of Bidou were returning from Marseille and entering the port of Rhodes. In May 1522, with 30 galleys, Kurtoglu appeared at Cape Sant'Angelo, and between June and July he commanded the final and successful Ottoman siege of Rhodes, together with Kara Mahmud, under the supreme command of Mustafa Pahsa. Kurtoglu landed his troops at the island on June 26, 1522, and towards the end of July he appeared before the city of Rhodes. The Ottomans eventually captured the island by the end of December 1522, Sanjak Bay of Rhodes. Following the Ottoman conquest of Rhodes at the end of 1522, Kurtoglu Muslihidin Reis was appointed Sanjak Bay of Rhodes by Suleiman the Magnificent. In March 1524, Kurtoglu collected a large force of troops from Anatolia and ensembled his fleet in Rhodes before setting sail to Egypt, where he put down the mutiny of Janissaries in both Alexandria and later on the coasts of Lebanon together with Ayaz Pasha. He returned to Egypt in April 1524, back in the Ionian and Tyrrhenian seas. In August 1524 Kurtoglu arrived at Euboea with a force of one galley, two galleots, and fifteen fustis, and after some time there he set sail again towards Apulia, landing at Otranto and Gallipoli, where he captured a large ship along with seven other smaller vessels. From Gallipoli Kurtoglu sailed across the Gulf of Taranto and reached Sicily, where he landed his troops and assaulted several ports before sailing north into the Tyrrhenian Sea and then south to the Barbary coast of northwestern Africa, returned to the East Mediterranean. In May 1525 Kurtoglu arrived at the coasts of Crete where he captured four Venetian ships, 
In August 1525 he was back in Constantinople with his own galley, while he left his other ships at Tinos, where he had captured a total of 27 vessels. In Constantinople he received three large ships and ten galleys from Suleiman the Magnificent and set sail to combat the Knights of St. John, who now operated from their new base in Sicily and damaged Ottoman shipping together with the Maltese corsairs who joined them in such attacks. In April 1527 he was assigned with another mission to combat the Christian corsairs, which he conducted with ten galleys. In July 1527 he arrived at Cape Malio with a force of four galleys, three Fastis and a Brigantine, and captured two Venetian galleys while sinking the Venetian ship named Grimana. He sold the seized cargo at Metheny before sailing to Rhodes with the captured ships. From there he sailed to Constantinople, arriving in November 1527.